Hello and thank you so much for joining me in this video. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can plan your meals when you have started on your health and fitness journey. Many people stress about it. If you're also someone who is stressing about how to plan meals um, and you have to be more disciplined, um, then this is the time for you to end that stress. Please be with me till the end of the video where I'm going to share some very powerful tips that has been working for our customers across the world. Hi, I'm Ruma. I'm a certified fitness trainer, nutritionist, and a women's fitness specialist. And in this video, you're going to learn along with me how to plan your meals when you have started on a health and fitness journey. So the number one thing, if you are working, whether you're working or you're not working, take out some time during the weekend about an hour or two to plan out your entire week. You need that time if you want to start building that discipline uh, into eating healthy. Okay, so become a weekend king and a queen where you take out two hours and you set, uh, set that aside for planning. Number two, invest in small containers. Individual containers where you can um, uh, cook, cut, um, and cook, cut, refrigerate, freeze, uh, cook food, vegetables, fruits, whatever that may be, um, you can um, you can store them separately. And, um, of, you know, a lot of the work will happen on the weekend, the cutting, cooking, storing. Uh, you may be wondering that, um, Ruma, is it not when I'm starting on a health journey, is it not important that I eat fresh meals? Yes, it is important. You know, freshness has a value. But also at the same time, in order to eat fresh, because you don't, in order to eat fresh, if you're missing out on eating, it is a bigger uh, disadvantage. So you have to, you have to uh, evaluate the pros and cons of both. Um, if you do not have freshly cooked food, will you miss out on that meal completely? That will have uh, even more damage. So accordingly, make your decision. Usually people who work or people have too much of responsibilities, you, you cannot be spending so much of time in cooking or in the kitchen, whether you're a man or a woman, regardless of that, you cannot be spending so much of a time in the kitchen. And hence, uh, start, uh, you know, start accepting the fact that it is okay to eat refrigerated food um, as is from the time the crop is harvested. Um, nutritional value starts to go down. So even if you think it is fresh, unless you're plucking it from your own garden, you have uh, uh, you have planted it and you are harvesting it, there is no guarantee of the nutritional value that you're getting. So just try to bring some balance in your life and you will do well. A more, the third thing is most houses have a set pattern of eating. You know, they, you, you will be used to having certain things during your breakfast, certain things during your lunch, certain things during your dinner. So you know what you eat. And among them, you also know what are the healthy food items. So I'm just saying, you know, what does an, um, just think for a moment, what does an Indian plate look like? Chapati, sabji, dal, rajma, chole, beans, egg, chicken, rice, you know, all of that, egg, chicken, um, fish, all of that, you know, already, right? So whatever, and you also know how much of a quantity you consume on a weekly basis. Most of the house, we know that. Um, we also know the number of people who eat on a weekly basis. So depending on that, during that one to two hours that you've taken out in the weekend, you prepare your full grocery list. What are the things that you need in order to run the complete week so that in the middle of the week, you are not struggling to think, what am I going to cook? What am I going to, uh, what do I need in my, uh, in my storage? Second is prepare your meal plan for the entire week. And in this, please involve your family. What does your spouse like to eat? What would your children love to eat? What would your parents or your in-laws like to eat? Get them all in, understand what they would like to see in their meal plan and build the meal plan accordingly so that everybody's wish is taken care of. Number two, also take inputs from them in which areas of the entire thing will they like to help you? Uh, would it be uh, uh, buying the vegetables? Would it be cleaning the kitchen? Would it be cutting and chopping the vegetables? Whatever that may be, please involve them in that work also because remember your health is also important for them. Uh, and when you are healthy, you will make them healthy as well. You will start influencing your family members. So please bring them in. You will see that your family is also, uh, also adopting and developing healthy practices. Do not try to play this game 
all by yourself alone um it will be a difficult journey then when when you involve your family members in your health journey you will enjoy it and your family will also become healthier in the in the process there are many things that you can prepare and refrigerate for few days in a week for example you can boil eggs they stay in the fridge for a good 7 days you can um prepare your sprouts they stay for a uh, i prepare my sprouts on the weekend and they stay with me till the uh, till the for complete one week you can roast your peanuts and use them for snacking you can mix your atta atta stays in the fridge and refrigerator combination of that you can prepare for the entire week so you what i do i prepare my atta mix the atta over the weekend and portion of that it will suffice me for two days i store it in a container in the refrigerator the remaining part of it goes in the freezer when the stock in the refrigerator is about to get over i take out the stock from the freezer and put it in the refrigerator for thawing and for usage so, uh, so for atta also i can uh, i can um, you know i prepare in large quantities and put it in the fridge a lot of the vegetables can be cut and stored appropriately in in the fridge or um, e- either in uh, either in airtight sealable bags or in inside damp clothes depending on which vegetable you are trying to um, you are trying to store many vegetables can be cut and cut and stored in the fridge and when you start doing that along with the, your meals having been prepared you will see that you are not struggling on a regular basis to prepare food what should i eat today what should i eat tomorrow that becomes a big struggle in most of the household and if you prepare like this then you will see that your meal planning has become very very simple and smooth and all of these things we teach our customers in our programs as well so if you are someone who is already in our program and you're watching this video then just follow our coaching just follow our instructions and guideline and you will be able to do that and if you're someone who is not yet a part of our program then it is time for you to think and if you have a health and a fitness goal we will be very very happy to work with you just get in touch with us our whatsapp number is at our website www.navitai.com and also below this video please fill up this form where we can get it. and if you want us to get in touch with you then please fill up this form somebody from our team will get in touch with you so look forward to working with you and i hope you found this video valuable take care bye bye